Hello and welcome to today's reading from the Alive Church Life Transformation Bible Daily Discipleship Plan. We'll read the daily devotional as well as the verses chosen for today. On week 39, give to God. I choose to live a life of faithful generosity and trust God as my provider. Through faith in Jesus and all he has done for me on the cross, I give my life to God as a living sacrifice. All that I am and all that I have is his. And he has promised to provide for all of my needs from his glorious, unlimited resources in Jesus Christ. I know in him I will always have all I need in every situation. God has provided me with all things for my enjoyment and blessing. He has given me all things, yet he does not want all things to have me. His desire is for me to live free from the bondage of materialism and the things of this world. His desire is that my life reflect his nature and character, for God so loved the world that he gave. Therefore, I choose to live a life of faithful generosity and trust God as my provider. Jesus said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. I choose to live the blessed life. For this reason, I will give faithfully to God in tithes and offerings. My faithful giving is an act of trust. I trust him as my provider. As I do, he proves himself faithful to me through his provision and blessings. He meets all of my needs. It's not that God is in need of money because he owns all things. Rather, he wants what money represents, my heart. And I have given my heart to him. I choose to live a life of faithful generosity and trust God as my provider. As I do, I will give to God cheerfully because he loves a cheerful giver. As I do, I am reminded that everything I have is a gift from God. As I do, I allow him to prove he exists and desires to bless me. As I do, I am showing him he has first place in my life and I love him. As I do, I express my thanks to him for helping me to earn my income. As I do, I invest in eternity. As I do, I grow spiritually to be more like Jesus. As I do, I obey his command. This is not a strategy for financial growth, nor a system to receive personal praise for my generosity. This is God's plan for me to become more like him as a follower of Jesus and for my life to give him glory, honor, and praise as I trust him. I choose to live a life of faithful generosity and trust God as my provider. On day four, seek God first as we continue our readings from the Bible regarding give to God. Matthew 6, 19 to 34 is a famous passage included in the Sermon on the Mount that Jesus preaches. We'll hit selected verses here. Be sure you read the entire portion of Matthew 6, 19 to 34. Beginning in verse 19, Jesus says, Don't store up treasures here on earth where moths eat them and rust destroys them and where thieves break in and steal. Store your treasures in heaven where moths and rust cannot destroy and thieves do not break in and steal. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. Verse 24, No one can serve two masters, for you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and be enslaved to money. Verse 31, So don't worry about these things, saying, What will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your Heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Verse 33, Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Deuteronomy 8, verses 7 to 14, another passage speaking of the land that God was promising to the Israelites as they escaped from Egypt and what God was promising them, this promised land, hitting selected portions of Deuteronomy 8, 7 to 14. Be sure you read the entire passage. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land of flowing streams and pools of water, with fountains and springs that gush out in the valleys and hills. Verse 12, For when you have become full and prosperous, and have built fine homes to live in, and when your flocks and herds have become very large, and your silver and gold have multiplied along with everything else, Be careful. Do not become proud at that time and forget the Lord your God who rescued you from slavery in the land of Egypt. Our memory verse, Acts 20, 35. You should remember the words of the Lord Jesus. It is more blessed to give than to receive. If you don't have a life transformation Bible from a live church, we'd love to send you one. 
Let us know by sending an email to office at alivechurch.com. Enjoy your day and be sure and tell a friend about these readings.